Let's talk about semi-conservative DNA replication. What I'm looking at here is a DNA double helix. And one thing to keep in mind when I'm looking at this DNA double helix is it's just a little cartoon of a tiny piece of DNA. In an actual cell, a chromosome's DNA can contain millions of base pairs. So if I were to draw out this whole thing, it would have to wrap around this room many, many, many times. But looking at a small piece makes the cartoon easier. So I'm looking at a DNA double helix before replication. So I'm looking at the old DNA before it's replicated. And semi-conservative DNA replication tells us that this strand here is going to be a template for building its complementary strand. And this strand here is going to be a template for building its complementary strand. So because of complementary base pairing, this can be used to build its partner, its complementary strand. And also this strand here can be used as a template to build its partner, its complementary strand. Giving me two daughter DNA double helices. Where here in pink, I've showed the new DNA. This process here is a DNA replication. And we have another cartoon for looking at this when we're studying the details of how the cell does this, where we're looking at a DNA double helix that's been opened up to form a replication bubble so that the cell can replicate its DNA. So I've looked here shortly after it started. So it opened here at the origin of replication and enzymes have built the new DNA or have started to build the new DNA really. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about how this is built, but kind of keep in mind that what this is is a cartoon of the cell building this new DNA. So the blue template DNA is the same in both of these cartoons and the pink new DNA is the same in both of these cartoons. So that when the cell is done, I'll have down here one new DNA strand, excuse me, one DNA double helix that has an old strand and a new strand, and up here it'll have a DNA double helix with an old strand and a new strand. And these are the same strands that we're looking at here. Another way of thinking about these is when the cell is preparing for mitosis or meiosis, how these are going to condense into a condensed replicated chromosome. In these cartoons, it looks as though these double helices separate from one another as soon as they're made, but actually in the cell there are proteins that hold these together. So that when these condense up before mitosis or meiosis, this DNA double helix is going to condense into one sister chromatid. And this double helix is going to condense into another sister chromatid.